black-legged, sow-eating preachers that tell you that the Sabbath is done away with. And, 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 and we, we can celebrate the Sabbath any day. Hmm. You know what's amazing to me? John, no greater prophet ever lived than John. Filled the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Daddy couldn't even talk until he circumcised him the eighth day and then spoke his name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Must be a Hebraic custom. Uh -huh. <laughs> Must be a Hebraic custom. Mm -hmm. What did Paul say? Circumcised the eighth day. Hebrews of the Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Must be Israelites. Most Christians, American Christians don't do this stuff. That is another religion. That is another philosophy. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, we still circumcise our children. And then here come, here immediately come the Greek philosophers. Certain philosophers of the Epimericans. <laughs> come on with me, brother. And make their souls abominable. They made their souls abominable. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, folks. See, what happens is... See, most of you would never, ever, your mind tells you, ever talk back or fight against God. Because that's what your mind would tell you. Mm -hmm. We never talk back or fight against God. We wouldn't. Ain't that what our mind tells us? We never do that. So, unbeknown to you, whenever you fight and you talk back against his messengers, his preachers, his teachers, you're actually fighting the Most High himself. Amen. Many of you are fortunate that the Most High, that we don't have a literal physical tabernacle set up down here, a building that you can actually go to. Because no telling how many times the Most High would have came down and consumed you right where you stand. I mean, I thought, oh, Miriam and Aaron thought they could speak against Moshe, didn't he? Mm -hmm. And he turned around and smitten Miriam with leprosy. That's right. See, right now, because judgment is not executed speedily, how many people would the Most High have to smite with leprosy before a woman know how to keep her mouth shut? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. See, we think we're getting away with it today. And so, therefore, it's fully set in our, in our hearts to be wicked and do what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to pay for it. And then, when you hear that little movie called, This Was Your Life, every place you transgress and you despise the most high, you're going to see my smiley, pretty little face. Right there in that camera, and he's going to point to it and say, My pastor told you. And you spurned. And you despised me. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Brother Juan, zoom in on that up there. And it says, I will give you pastors according to. See, you just mad and upset because they ain't after your wicked little heart. <laughs> I'm not for sale. We shall feed you and not feed you. It's my job to feed you, not you feed me. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I, I done sit there before and got fed. Now I'm doing the feeding. Well, you ain't going to feed me. Then take your birth ring on then. Amen. <laughs> Turn the channel. Forget about you ever heard from me. Amen. I didn't ask you to listen to me anyway. Uh-oh. Read on, brother Ed. They made their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profanation. They made their, self, their souls abominable with all manners of cleanliness and profanation. Isn't that amazing? We're finished. I'm sorry, one more. I've I'm been sorry. long, but this is necessary. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Start at verse 17, brother. Ed. We're going to read on down for a minute. We're going to read the very words of the Messiah himself. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. We're going to read the very words of the Messiah himself. And we're going to finish on this right here. Make no mistake about it, Israel. The most I knew he was going to be birthed at this time, and he said, every, every last one of you, so that y'all could sit here and listen to my mouth and Brother Shane's mouth. That's what he did. Yeah, he did, so y'all could sit and listen to us. Uh-oh. Come on with it, Brother Ed. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. That don't mean you actually exercise your American right by not thinking. And stay mind numb and stupid. When he says think not, 
That means don't you even let it enter into your mind that he come to destroy or do away with the law, unlike what pagan Christianity is teaching you. He didn't come to destroy the law or the Torah or the prophets. Read on. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So Christ didn't come to tap the law, destroy no. the law, or do away with the law? Nope. But he come to fulfill. Yes. Meaning he come to magnify the law. Mm -hmm. yes. Come on now. For verily I say unto you. What he come to do? What he say? Till heaven and earth pass. Let me see. Let me see. Till heaven and earth pass. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Come here, Sky. Hold his mic for a second. Thank you, honey. I just had to check. I had to check to see if heaven and earth were still there. <laughs> I mean, I just got finished looking up. It's still there, brother. And my feet just got finished standing on something. Uh -huh. I mean, literally. And Christ said, until heaven and earth do what? Pass. Has it passed yet? No. I just confirmed it. That's right. It's still there. It's still there. You don't believe me? Go walk outside your house right now. So heaven and earth ain't passed. That's right. Read on, brother Ed. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from this law till Ooh. all be fulfilled. Until all be fulfilled. So what people think is that Christ come to fulfill certain portions, so therefore it's done away with. No, he didn't. That's right. And you know what? The Bible just told me that it all ain't fulfilled. You know why? Because I still can see heaven and I can still see earth. So therefore, you pigs out there that are removing any jots and tittles, you in bad shape. Amen. Read on, Brother Ed. Whosoever, therefore, shall break one of these least commandments. One of these what commandments? Least. Least commandments. Read on. And shall teach men so. And teach men so. How many of you people have been taught the law is done away with? How many of you have been taught the commandments are no longer binding on us? How many of you have heard preachers say that nonsense mm -hmm. and teach you? You cut on the TV and see it all day long. You cut on radio. You cut on videos and they're teaching you this. Mm -hmm. And then the reason why they teach you is so you can go teach somebody else that they've done away with. Messengers of deceit. Read on, brother. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Hey, now first of all, number one, you need to understand. He ain't talking about the kingdom of heaven and you going to. That's another myth. Come on. Huh? The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is right here in you. That's right. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. No wonder Christ is not exalted in your hearts. No wonder he esteemed as a very low thing. Oh, look at him. See, you thought you were going to go to glory. Boy, the more I study, the more I find out. Mm -hmm. People in trouble. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. So you at least don't think you're going to get in there. Read on, brother Ed. But whosoever shall do and Wait, teach them. But whosoever shall what? Do. Whosoever shall do. We're doers of the word. Yeah. That's the reason why we post the YouTube videos, not to sit and boast. We got to worry about boasting because you folks won't let us. We just flat out show you. The reason why I use me, because I, I, I'm the shepherd. I don't want y'all attacking all the sheep. Because you know how your Greek brainwashed mind talks, don't it? Look at them. They brainwashed. Brainwashed for milk and a goat. <laughs> and drinking goat's milk. Brainwashed because a woman won't breastfeed. Brainwashed. Brainwashed because we want to keep the commandments. Good. If that's brainwashed, then wash me, Father. Amen. Wash my mind. Wash Amen. my soul. Wash my spirit. Wash me. Amen. Just like I said, not only my feet only kept for saving, but just wash my whole body. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, These people say, man, I ain't never in my life heard a preacher like you. That's because you ain't never heard a preacher. Amen. That ain't nothing new. Satan has flooded the market with his ministers. Sure. Amen. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, Paul told us, didn't he? Read on, brother Ed. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is within you. If you want to be great, you want to get it great, you want me to be great with you and stuff, you better start obeying the word of the Most High Yah. Amen. Because he's got a kingdom that you need to go into, and you better start esteeming his word above everything. And stop. You in this word as a reproach on your Amen. wicked flesh. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I have heard. Man, I, I don't know if I could take all that hollering screaming you do. Then don't you ain't coming. Don't come. <laughs> Preserve yourself. Protect yourself from me. <laughs> you scare me half deaf, all that screaming and hollering, Pastor. Don't listen. Amen. Read on, brother. For I say unto you. What did he say? That except your righteousness oh. shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Well, America's already done now. They're already done. Righteousness. I mean, look, look, hey, he even said in another place, whatsoever the scribes and Pharisees bid for you to do, that you do it. Because they say and don't do. But whatever they tell you, you do it. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. That's what he said. And except your righteousness, see them scribes and Pharisees, what did he say? You shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Hey, you, you American Christians ain't got no righteousness because you refuse to keep the commandments. <laughs> righteousness come by the law. Ooh. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm singing and dancing now. I'm going to really be cutting the jig in the new Jerusalem. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Read on, brother. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill. Oh, and you heard in the old time, Thou shalt not kill, but what? Thou shalt be in danger of the judgment. Well, anyway, all, I mean, you already finished. They, if you don't obey the commandment to come out and hurt my people, don't worry about it. You're going in. You're going into hell, damnation, and fire. That's where all this too. And ain't nothing you can do about it because your mind's so twisted, warped, and disturbed. You can't obey. Now, all of you that are able to hear and you've heard this message and your heart has been pricked. Hallelujah. Don't resist the unction of the Holy Spirit. Just submit to the will of the Father and become obedient servants. We sure would like to see you in the kingdom because we're going to be there. You don't have to worry about us here straightway. We're going to be there. We're obedient servants. Hallelujah. Just take heed to what you heard today. We use the food platform here to show you even what they have said them own selves. That's coming from the own. You've seen it for your own selves. And it's sad that I would even have to use that to even try to reach some of you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, Sister Cindy. Come on up here, please. Now, disclaimer. Anything we say is not meant to prevent, treat, or cure any of your diseases. That's what your government is for. <laughs> How about that? Hallelujah. But if you want to know the right way, <laughs> I'm trying to hold my composure, brother. Hallelujah. You want to know the right way, then you'll listen to the servants. All right? So we, we have natural herbs that we take. Now, mind you, mind you, we're not treating you. We're not preventing you, nor are we curing you. Hallelujah. Because thou has no healing medicines. Get Jeremiah 30, verse 13. I, I said I was done, didn't I? Okay. All right. All right. So what can people do to detox, Sister Cindy? I mean, what can they, what can they do? What can they do? What can they take? The main thing is to start detoxing the colon. Get the colon moving. For different people, it could be different things. Some could take something uh, like eating apple, more fiber. That would make them go. More fiber. Mm -hmm. Some that wouldn't work, but uh, grape juice, something like that, would make them go. Grape juice. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about flooding the system, though. Yes. Because yes. it really needs to be flooded, mm -hmm. right? And then, right. then there's uh, Cascara Sagrada. Cascara Sagrada. All these are just suggestions. Uh, yeah, I could care less what they do. Y'all hear that? Hmm? And she well, means we always that. Suggest, they are suggestions because I mean, you are, uh, you're, 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 you're so rebellious that all we're doing is making some suggestions anyway. But those of you who want to be obedient, hear what we're saying. Read on. I mean, read on. Read on. Speak on. Um, eating vegetables, fruits and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables because they're full of fiber, right? Mm -hmm. And watch this. What else? Flaxseed. Flaxseed. You should grind it. You could put it in yogurt or something. But you need, um, if you get take flaxseed or some kind of fiber every day, 
Nine times out of ten, you will become regular and have the type of bowel movement, movements that you should. My sister canceled this video. I don't like black seed. It tastes yucky, pucky. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, you hear that? Grow up. Now, it's amazing. We, we can suggest to you stuff that you should be taking with the healthy. And you've been going out here eating cows that eat feces. <laughs> and cooking it and putting it on your table. Uh, anyway. Amen. Drink water, but not seedy water. Distilled water, reverse osmosis, and drink a lot of water. A lot of water because you are 75% water. At least that. A lot of water. Not soda pops. Not, not sparkly water. You know, the stuff that fizzes like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> oh, we got to talk like this, brother. If you don't, don't know this, we, we, this whole Saturday has been used for you. Saints in here, they're probably suffering through it. Hmm? Isn't that something? <laughs> Telling y'all the good stuff, the stuff that you shouldn't be in the right. Stuff that's good for you. Hmm? So, they're fusing meat together. So all you people out there think you're getting filet mignon, filet mignon pig, filet mignon pig, sour sauce, everything else. That's the worst of MSG. The guy said, why you got your gloves and mask on? He said, be toxic. Yeah. <laughs> this stuff will mess you up. It's sad, isn't it? It's, it's just pure D sad. What about, hey, people got parasites. What can they do with parasites? Well, there's black walnut, black there's walnut. herbal pumpkin, herbal pumpkin. and then there are, um, if you'll get a reputable company, there's para cleanses where they mix more than one herb together, and then so it's even other, stronger. So in other words, people just, just don't need to just walk into GNC or vitamin shop and all these other places and think they're going to get the real good stuff in. This has to come from a reputable company, right? Exactly. And you uh, folks don't know who it is, so you're going to have to either write or call. No, no call. <laughs> Disclaimer. We're, we're, we're going to see if you really want to know. Right. So if you call, sisters, no answer. Come here, sister. Ed. Come here, Scott. If people call, I want y'all to see this. We're going to get this on record. Y'all two stand up here. Hmm? Two more witnesses. Stand up, brother. Ed. Come on up here, brother Sam. We're going to get some witnesses. Come on, brother. Two or more witnesses. If people call and they ask y'all which is a reputable company, do not tell them. Tell them the right. Do y'all understand it? Y'all get it. Y'all y'all witnesses it. Y'all bearing witnesses too, right? Good. Thank you very much, men. So y'all see that? Y'all heard it, right? Now watch this. Sure as day is long, I guarantee you're gonna get a call because they're Americans. I guarantee you're gonna get a call. You will get a call. I'm telling you. They think the whole world evolves around them. You'll get a call, but still give them the answer. All right? Right. They ask for the address if they ask for it. Are you following me? It's amazing. You shouldn't even ask for it because it's already plastered out there all over the place. Mm -hmm. hmm? Why are you passed out? Why come you just don't let them call? Because we're lazy. <laughs> and we need to see how people are really truly serious because you ain't used to doing. You're used to everything being given to you. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm just a tough cookie, Anna. All right, bless y'all. So, I hope that y'all learned something today because I'm tired. And it's a Sabbath day. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I really do. And it's a shame that we will obey whatever this government will walk into that store and we'll buy everything off the shelf and never question nothing about it and think that we're getting good stuff. Amen. That's what we submit ourselves to. And then we wonder why we're sick all the time. Our children are sick. We, we, it's amazing. You people, you, I'm not convinced that you love your children. I, I'm, I'm really, truly not convinced. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. You shall know the truth, John 8, 32, and the truth shall make you free. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Did you want Well, I, you know, we bless. We, 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 you get to Jeremiah, right? Yeah. All right. Ed got Jeremiah 3.13. Read, brother Ed. 
There is none to plead thy cause. Now, who are you going to go to plead your cause? Because the doctors are set up in order to try to help mass. I mean, let me see. Doctors, hospitals, they're all there to help manage disease. I mean, if the disease there that really truly can't do nothing, there's a natural process that the body has to go through. I mean, isn't that right? So best as they can do is try to lessen the symptoms, dull the symptoms, and then give you placebos to make you think that you are being healed. When the truth is, the natural order things just got to run itself. Mm-hmm. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. So all they're doing is, is, is masking the symptoms. Oh, yeah, that's what he's doing. Because if the symptoms not there, it gives you the illusion that you're fine. Ah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I mean, when you heal, you're every with made whole. Isn't that right? That's right. Oh, oh okay. Read on, brother. Ed. That thou mayest be bound up. That thou may be bound up. Come on. Thou hast no healing medicine. I believe what Jeremiah said. There's not a medicine on this earth that can heal you. Amen. I believe what Jeremiah said. Is that all right, saints? Mm-hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Most High God. Yes, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry Hallelujah. to keep you so long here, but it was necessary. Mm-hmm. We had to get this out. All right? We had to get this out because I'm telling you, I wouldn't believe the amount of correspondence that I receive on a weekly basis. You just wouldn't believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, but, you know, sometimes, you notice the last few Sabbaths, we've had to go back and revisit a few things to not only just put us back on point to make sure we stay on point with our minds and our attitudes and our hearts and our spirit, but also to help those that are coming behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because, you know, the Bible tells us that when thou art converted, we're converted. Mm -hmm. Uh, We are converted. So from that point, what are we supposed to do from there? You go and strengthen your brother. That's what you do. Isn't that right? So that's what we're trying. We spent this Sabbath to strengthen you, the brother. Hallelujah. 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 So Pastor Dow is not your enemy, whether you like it or not. But if you want me to be your enemy, I'll be the best one you ever heard, ever, ever had. I promise you I will. I will not disappoint you. Hallelujah. Glory to the king. Glory. Y'all be encouraged, saints. Amen. The king is coming. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. Straightway.